Hello beautiful beings, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for those who are subscribing and if you're not, think about it if you like the videos and please hit the thumbs up. All right, today we're gonna decorate these. Got them from the Dollar Tree and they're in the Shore Living. And they got all kinds of different ones. And they come with this, this burlap, which I don't like. So I'm gonna tell you what I did with it. You can always put it in a little bit of water with any paint you want, but just a little water, like in a jar, like one of these jars. These are just from herbs. I save all the jars, but you just put a little bit of water in them. Then you put the paint in and put a bunch of these in, whatever color you, you want, that you wanna make them or just put two, it doesn't matter. And then you shake it, shake it, and let it sit for like 10 minutes and then you pour out the water that's left in there and then you just put it on a piece of cardboard or something and let it dry and it makes it way stiffer and plus see these fraying hairs you can burn them off the other one try to do that no way if you don't do it right it, it starts lighting see that it starts lighting on fire but I like this because it makes it stiffer. Okay, you can use them for these, but I don't know, I just don't like it unless I put paint on it and make it stiffer. And you can use string, whatever you want, whatever color you want. And I'm using mostly this. All right, let's get to it. Okay. The three colors I chose, you can't really see. I didn't put that much on that one, so I'm gonna show you this one. I put this on first, blue bonnet, and then I put the acrylic blue cotton on here. Then I put that on each layer, I let each layer dry. And then you can see the layers in this one. But this is what we're gonna make today will decorate today and then you can put oh and when I did these these clothespins I put them in water I put them again <laughs> I love these jars I put a whole bunch of them in the jars standing up I put a little bit of water just about that much then I put blue in there I did them both in I did one in dark blue and I did one in light blue that's how I got the effect of that then I shook it up and let them sit for 10 minutes and then I drained the water. Then I put them on some cardboard to dry. Okay. And then if you want, you can just glue them on here. I made sure, I had to slant this one so it wouldn't show up on this side. Okay, now we got the colors out of the way and the clothespins and all that jazz. Set that over here. I already got this one painted. That's not the one I want to use. I want to do this one. Oh, that's what I want to do. Okay, I'm going to show you different ways you can decorate it. If you have wood, this one's kind of big, but you can just put like a flower in the middle, paint it any color you want, the well any color you want, put that in the middle. You can just put a heart there, whatever you want. You can even put a word on them. Be creative with the heart, any color you want. You can even, see like with this, you'd have to use thread, like needle thread, to go through these hole, that hole. This one, not so much. You can put, even this will fit through it. The baker's twine, whatever color you want. And there's a little birdie bird. You could put sitting on his head. I was thinking cut that off though, that little circle right there, but that would look cute. A little birdie bird sitting on his head. Instead of the spout, it wouldn't matter if you covered the spout. You can do flowers, if you have these, stickers. Just giving you ideas. You have these little ones. 
flowers. These are like you can put two on here, paint on whatever color you want to match. Do whatever you desire. It's your craft and your imagination. Okay, so I'm going to begin because I want to put this like that. And I'm going to put that there. And this underneath it like that with the pearl in the middle. Like that. And that's how he, this one's going to get decorated. And if you want to make a boy one, you can make a boy one. So we're just going to get our Elena's tacky glue and put a little dot in the middle here. I'm going to put our pearl there. In the middle. Then I'm going to take our leaf, make sure it's the right side. It is. I'm just going to put that down the middle. Stick it over here, his tail. I'm going to take this. This is just off a of, whoop. This is just off a piece of jewelry that was on clearance, and they had a whole bunch of different colored ones. So I tore it apart to use them because it was a bracelet that I wouldn't wear, but I love the flowers because they were all different colors. I'm going to stick that there gently because I'm going to tuck this under it a little bit. Try not to move my pearl. And I'm going to stick that side so I'll put some in the middle. Just tuck that under there like that. And voila. Make sure they're up a little bit so they're not hanging off. I don't want to block his eye. You can even color the eyes in if you want. Like put the inside. You can get a thin brush and just put paint right here to make the eye pop. I probably should have done that, but I just thought of it. I just go as I get ideas. I receive ideas and I just go. Okay, and then I wanted, probably should have done this before I glued all that down, but all I did was take a piece of string, I put a knot at the bottom, I put a bead on, put another bead on, put it through the hole. I'm pretty sure that twine will fit through the hole. I'll double check in a minute. Take it of twine. Like that. But you want it to hang down like that. So all you're gonna do, I really should have done this first. That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna flip it real quick. I'm just gonna add a dab of glue here, like that, and then pull it back up to where you want it. Like that. You don't even need to put that on there, really. I figured you needed something there. Well, I needed something there. I got glue on it. That's okay. Like that. You basically just let it dry and then cut the string off. I don't even know if I like that there, to tell you the truth. I think the per they're too big. All right, we're not doing that. I don't like it. I know what I could do. I could get a bigger pearl and put it there. But I wanted a flat one, but don't have one here, of course, because I just thought of it. That's all I've been doing is getting ideas. Turn that sideways. I don't want that whole show. That looks cute. I'd rather have a flat one. I thought I had a flat one. Eh, maybe not. I also made this one right here. All I did was put a little thing on there, a little charm, and connected the bead and tied a knot at the bottom and then cut it and with a string. And then I put a clothespin on the back and you can either just clip these in books in the front of a journal or like Brian's idea, you can put a magnet on and stick them on a fridge. 
give them away to friends or family or make them with friends and family. Okay. Pretty sure you've seen this one. Same thing. I took some twine that I don't care for. It was a real pain in the butt getting through that hole. That's why I don't recommend twine because it just frays like crazy. Then this, I thought they'd look cute around his tail, her tail, whatever. Is that look cute there? I mean, these these two are like totally simple ones. You don't want to do all this extra creating, but I like it. So yeah, this is gonna have to have a flat bead. I mean, a flat pearl right there, just like that one. And I think I have a bigger one I'm putting up there. Okay, and what I wanted to show you is this. This is what we're going to, I'm gonna do the bottom, not the top. And see that, see that twine? I don't like it. Some people like it, I don't like it. See how it's all fraying and falling apart? I don't like it. That's why I got the idea to just color it, make it stiffer, way better. All right, I'm gonna take our well. Seashore, seashell, on the seashore. <laughs> and then we got right here, if you ever, well you guys probably already know this, but if you're new to crafting, you can buy these at Dollar Tree, any color. There's blue, red, and black, I think. I don't think there's white, but that's where you can store all your beads in it, which they call, what are they called? Come on, help me out here. Sea, sea beads, sea beads, sea beads. All right, and we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do with this. Sea beads, but maybe I should do this first, huh? I don't think I have to do have everything. I mean, you can leave it plain, but I think it needs something up here. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Just run that through. Wrap it. Look good, wrapped. I don't know. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to do what I did here, which I just glued it. But the wrap kind of looks, yeah, I kind of like that. It's a new look. So we'll go with it. We'll just go with it. Doing new things as we go. We'll glue there too. Down. Right. And do I have a glossy piece of paper I can stick behind it? Mm -hmm. it stick up to the t I'm just going to sit that on top of that like that. So I don't want it to glue to that, which it probably will, but it'll be alright. Alright, this is what we're going to do. We're gonna grab some little tiny ones, sea beads, sea beads, tiny ones. And we're gonna grab maybe a couple of them, a couple of them. Probably won't use them all, we're just seeing. These ones have a tint of purple to them. I don't know if I want those. I don't think I do. Definitely want some of these. And maybe a couple white, well, tan ones. Just maybe a couple tan ones. Right. We don't need that. It came off, so no, we're good. I'm going to cut that string off. Okay. Here we go, and then you just take this and put some glue down. Come on, 
You were on your side, weren't you? I tried to stand you up. That's why I always leave this on it side because it takes too long to get to the thing and it's pretty full too. I'm just doing that because the seashell's got to go in the middle. Then I take the seashell, make sure this is facing up, glue the back. Stick her down. Stick her down. That one's huge. That was the smallest one I could get. But I wanted to show you that too. I got these jars, but I don't know if I got them in Dollar Tree or Michael's. I might even got them in Joann's. It was a long time ago I got those. And I'm like, I could use them for something. I'm like, yeah, the sea theme. These kind of match the seashell. And they take. Another one, just throw it in there somewhere. Another one, throw it in there. Different color. Keep a little space for the white little ones in there. Wherever you want them. Wherever you want them. And I forgot the little blue ones, because I got tiny blue ones too, and I wanted a couple of them in there. Then, if you got a, if you have any leftover shish kebab sticks, you can use that tip. And if you don't, or if you don't, just find anything with a pointer. That's why I like this poker thing. Because the little tiny ones, you can see you go like this. You don't see they just bounce off. Just take a little tiny dab of the glue. Just a tiny bit and it picks it right up. Yeah, see that? I love this thing for tiny things. Well, but you gotta just whoosh, cha. Unless you get it right in the hole. You don't want it right in the hole. Because then it don't come off. Just turn it. Just turn it to let it go. Put one over here. And then you want to See that? You want to wipe that off because it'll stick to the beads and show up because it's dry. See this okay, right? All right. We got an hole again. Make sure you put a lot of glue. And if you turn them that way, that's fine. I'll show you how to cover that up. It's no problem at all. whatsoever. Not that one didn't want to come anymore to glue. More glue. Get in there. Get in there. Put blue in there too. You want a couple more blue? with me. You see some of them flipped over like sideways gives it detail too. There we go. Any more glue? Just a tiny dab. So you pick it up. Alright now wanna make sure that's not sticking too much. Just take a tiny dab, glue, put just a dab on the top where the hole is, dab there where that hole is, and I want some in here because I want to fill that in, and then a dab there, and a dab there, and I'm going to take a little white one and stick it on top of it. I go, it went in the hole again. Try to grab him by the side. <laughs> See, it doesn't have the, the whole problem. Take down here. I tell you that and then I do it. <laughs> All right, side. Pray for the blue in there, too. Put that one on the side. 
side. No, I said side. I want you on your side. Cooperate with me. Any more? Any more white ones? And I need a blue one too. They're sticking to me for some reason. I didn't think I had glue on my finger. Alright. Um, one blue one in there. I missed one over here. I missed one right there. Oh. I hope you can't hear my other half in the front room snoring. <laughs> Cause he's getting pretty loud. Okay. Don't worry if there's glue on them because some of them do have glue on them. And if you look right here, it dries clear. Turns out just beautiful, I think. <laughs> okay, and I want a couple more blue ones. You're getting a drift of this. Make these. Come on. I need to wipe that off. Maybe. There we go. Then you just push them in together. And if you want to apply more glue, apply more glue. I just want to fill in that little gaps. That's pretty much it. Beautiful. And like I said, you can take a paper or a clothespin and just stick them right on the back. These embellishments, whatever you have. Just your creations beyond limits. So whatever you want to do, whatever color you want to do, whatever design you want to do. This one, I'm just gonna put, I gotta remember to put a big pearl up here. And that's done, that way it won't be too much because I think the, putting a bead with a string up here would be way too much. And there you have it. And this is gonna, I'm gonna name this video part one because we got, next up is the anchors. We're gonna make anchors and decorate the anchors. And I'm going to be using three different types of color, metallic color. So be sure to watch out for that video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe. And give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And have a great afternoon, dinner, morning, whatever it is to you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time.